Hello Aries. This is your monthly for January. We're going to start off with a Celtic cross spread. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. This is a general reading, you guys, so it will not resonate for everyone. Again, Happy New Year. All right. Let's see what's going on for my Aries. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for coming. If you guys are interested in a personal reading, the information is um, below the video, okay? All right. So I'm not going to even look at these cards. I'm going to turn them over, and we will see what's going on um, together, okay? So let's see. Okay, Aries. So, first card we have is how you see yourself. You see yourself as the moon. Okay. You see yourself as um, like like things have been illuminated for you. Okay. Um, you have this inner knowing. You have this inner peace. Um, you don't really have to be able to put your finger on things to know exactly what the business is. Okay, I feel like you're very loving too, very loving um, and, and very expressive, very expressive with that. I feel like a lot of you are um, mothering and maybe you don't even have children, maybe you do. I just feel like, you know, in general you guys are like, you take care of people, you know, people that you're close to, you are, like you're dedicated to that, I feel. Okay, now the energy that is around you is the Queen of Cups. Just what I said. Um, you're very intuitive as well. People see you as someone that um, people like to be in your presence, I feel. And you extend a lot. And you extend without, without looking for things in return. Okay? Let's see what's challenging you. What's challenging you is uh, the Queen of Wands. I feel like this is still you. This is this is you being more um, assertive, feeling not just that you know you're a caregiver and you're loving, but to feel like you're attracted too, like you still got it, you know. Um, to to feel confident in who you are, like every aspect of your being, you know. Now, for some of you, it could quite possible, possibly be someone else, but I feel like what's challenging you is to be in your element, to be in your element, to feel confident in the things that, that you are striving to do, because I get the feeling that a lot of you have started new projects, um, some of you have just become mothers, feel confident in that, feel confident that you will be a good mother, excuse me. Okay, now while this is all happening, huh, is um, the root of the issue and the foundation is the King of Cups. I feel like there's somebody new that is entering in January. Um, and what I mean by new is it, it may not be like technically a new person but I feel like this is a new venture for you with this individual I feel like you guys are maybe exploring um, realms that that you haven't explored before if this is someone familiar to you I don't think that um, it feels new to you even if this is somebody that you've been with before um, you guys are going down a different path I feel I feel this is because look look at you your couple your couple it's, it's almost like um, I feel like this person probably was put in your path too this is I feel very strongly is um, something that is is divinely guided this was meant to be this was meant to be now where are you coming from is um, a breakup. You've been enlightened because 
here you are as a, the Queen of Cups here, feeling very intuitive, feeling very in tune with yourself, um, in tune with others and their feelings, because you know things here. You know things. And I feel like you and this king are very much in tune and share, share the same feelings. This king is very expressive to you as well. Okay, let's see the best possible outcome is the king of swords. There's another king. Um, I feel like this king will be uh, very communicative with you. If, if you had an issue in the past where there was a breakdown in communication with someone, I don't think this is the same relationship. Then again, then again, it could quite possibly be. I'm getting strongly and it's just kind of like flooding me right now. And it's like all these things are like popping in my head. Um, but I'm getting strongly that this King of Cups is going to be very communicative with you because the person who you had this breakdown with in the past was not because there's two sides to the king of swords there's several sides actually to the king of swords um but this is somebody that was was not um, they did not communicate in a positive way I don't I don't think I don't feel it I feel like this person also did not show you a lot of affection emotion here there's also someone coming back there there's someone there's someone coming back somebody Somebody that wants to reveal their feelings to you because this is what's coming towards you soon. You're going to have someone that comes in that you had a breakdown with, I feel, that's going to want to share. They're, they're going to want to give you whatever they didn't give you before, okay? Because they know that's exactly what you want at here with the Queen of Cups. They know that's the kind of person that you are. They're feeling very upset. They're going through something here too. They're going through something here. That King of Swords is looking right at this, this tower. And they could have possibly, the reason why they're coming back is quite possibly because they just went through a breakup as well. So be mindful of that. Okay. Wow. Hmm. The outside influence is the Queen of Pentacles. You've got a lot of court cards in your reading. Feel like this person just just quite honestly I don't feel like they took care of business with you I feel like they neglected you and I feel like this person is really and truly beating themselves up for it Because they, both this King of Cups and the King of Swords, they, this is, this is you. This is you for them. This is you for them. This is somebody that embodies everything, okay? And this is the Empress. All right? Embodies everything everything 
because this is the, the minor for the empress for me okay the empress has everything but primarily she's down to earth she she is creative she knows you know how to take um what she has and create things um she knows how to use her mind to figure out things she's good with her money you know she's good with her business she's good with her children she she has all of these things that she embodies to be able to make um to make her world go round to be quite honest with you um and she really does not need anyone's assistance she welcomes it though it's a difference Get your hopes and fears. It's the King of Pentacles. <laughs> you just want somebody that's going to reciprocate what you give them. You want somebody that's going to match you. You want somebody that is supportive of you. You want somebody that cares for you genuinely. I feel like you guys are looking for, for some of you, are looking for your partner for life. And I get the distinct feeling that he or she is here. He or she is here. You've got there are no pages there are no knights only queens and kings and I have dang near all of them here except for two I have not flipped over the outcome yet and I'm getting ready to do that this is this is like you know I, I really wanted to do a general reading but this this speaks volumes to me that this is all about two people working things out and going forward as a team is, is, is what I'm looking You know what? I can't with you, Aries. Wow. Look at this. What did I just say? This is the outcome. Brand new you. Y'all are doing the dang thing. Just doing the dang thing. The Empress. That that's that's who you are. Trust and believe. All right. If you didn't know, uh, Danny G is here to tell you. This is who you are. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right, guys. So, I mean, that's just that's just the bottom line. Um, some of you are really going into a very solid um, commitment. And, and a lot of you are, are probably going to end up married this year. More than likely. After you've been through this, this shit storm. Okay. Everything's clear for you now, though. This was horrible. This was absolutely horrible when you were going through it. But guess what? You see through all of that. You see through all of that. You saw your way through. And um, this is beautiful. That's all I have to say. All right, guys. 